Okay, so the first thing that you need to fix with this uh, M Audio Oxygen inside of FL Studio is if you see your tempo sync button blinking, that means that it's set to internal. You want to set it to external. So you can do it this way, but you're going to have to do it every single time. The way I'm going to show you after this, I would suggest you actually do it inside the M Audio preset editor software. So this one right here is just the quick fix, and then I'll show you the next one. So in tempo sync, you just hold it down, all right? And it'll pop up a little menu, and it says clock. You're going to push in the push to enter knob. You're going to rotate it to external and just push it in again, hit back, and now you're good to go. So all of these transport buttons, they will not be buggy. You're going to also have to install that MIDI script if you want to set up the transport buttons the way how I've explained in the article, okay? Now, I suggest working in preset mode with the Oxygen Pro inside of FL Studio. It's going to give you just a better experience when you're in DAW mode. These buttons register uh, note presses. So when you push these, you actually play a note. So you want to be in preset mode. Now, if you hold on preset, you're going to see that you can select through different presets. Okay, the very, very first one I overwrote and I call it Grat for Gratuitous. That's my own custom one. You guys can actually purchase this one on this page. You can just load it in and it sets all this up for you. Uh, or you can do it yourself, which I'll show you in this video. So you, you can just rotate just to a different preset. And as you can see, I'm just going to go to the hybrid one. So I'm just going to select it and you can see that now it's blinking. And that's because it's set to internal. So now that the hybrid is selected, I'm just going to go into uh, the M Audio preset editor here, okay? And you go file. And so on the actual keyboard right now, I'm on the hybrid. So if I retrieve the preset, it's gonna pull in that hybrid, which you're gonna see right here, okay? So I'm just gonna uh, select from RAM or you can select from preset two because that's where hybrid was. I'm gonna go get. And you're going to see that now it's replaced it with hybrid right here, okay? And so, as you can see, the problem is the source is internal. So you just select external, you go file, you now you want to send that preset right back into the keyboard. So in this case, the hybrid was on preset two. Uh, two. Uh, for myself, I just overwrote preset one just to keep it simple. Uh, but so preset two, send it back in, and now it's done, okay? And so... If your keyboard, let's go back to the keyboard. If the keyboard is still blinking, uh, you can just switch preset modes. So let me just go to like, let's say this one, and then I'm gonna go back to the hybrid and it should have it for us. So we'll know that this stops blinking, okay? Perfect, so it stopped blinking. And again, you can just hold it that, that down and you can see. Okay, so it says clock external and that's it.